What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Twan and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some loops like Palace. That kind of like dark melodic type of vibe that Palace goes in his samples. And yeah, I'll just be breaking down this loop that I made. Follow me on my socials. Link will be in the description. Subscribe and like the video and let's get straight to it. So first, this is what the sample sounds like. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So I first opened up Analog Lab. My boy, the 44th floor opened up his new website called Estrella Sounds. And over there, you'll be able to find percussion loops, samples, Analog Lab banks, percussion loops, literally everything you need as a producer. And I'll be showing you guys some of the sounds uh, from the Analog Lab banks in this video. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really high quality sounds. Perfect if you wanna implement them in your samples. Link will be in the description, so go cop that. And I pretty much use this Brains preset uh, from one of his Analog Lab banks. And so yeah, without any effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, it's literally three chords, it's super simple, but the sound is like very high quality and I added a couple of effects. I added some EQ, cutting some lows out, a reverb spring, uh, turning down the blend, a Valhalla super massive, uh, guitar rig, and a wave steer one uh, imager. And it sounds like this now. So yeah, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to have it a bit more reverb. Next, I opened up Analog Lab again and I picked this Port Ladento. It's like a lead preset uh, from uh, one of the 44 floors Analog Lab banks. And I pretty much copied the same MIDI and added this like kind of just counter melody up top and it sounds like this. So it sounds like a crazy lead. Uh, and you can actually use it as like a bass or a lead. Um, if you go in the lower octaves, it'll sound cool at the bass, like if you listen. So yeah, sounds super hard. Then I added some effects. I added an EQ cutting like this frequency I didn't want. A uh, EQ cutting some lows out. A good hertz wow control. Um, just to add some coloring and a bit of noise. A little altar boy turning down some of the formant. Um, Valhalla Room, uh, just to add a tiny bit of reverb, as you can see, I turned down the mix by quite a lot. A Waves J37 with this Aquarium preset, I turned the mix down again, uh, just to add a tiny bit of more texture. I used this EQ cutting this frequency right here, and a Wave Stereo 1 Imager, and this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, pretty cool. Then uh, what I did, I opened up Omnisphere and I picked this Delusional Mechanics preset from Keyscape and I pretty much just copied the same chords, but just now like link them up so that they're longer. And uh, this is what it sounds like now. Let me just turn off the effect. So yeah, as you can see, it sounds pretty cool. Then I added a couple of effects. I added an EQ. Um, to kind of act as like a bandpass narrow just to cut some highs and some lows. An effect rack just to add a bit of modulation with the Liquivite preset. I turned down the mix by like pretty much like half. A good hertz wow control. Again, adding a bit more detune, a coloring and saturation. And a delay tape 201 uh, with this default preset. I just turned down the dry and wet knob a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. And then next was the vocals. So I found this vocal from Splice. Let me just uh, put it normal. And it sounds like this. Spaced out. Spaced out. 
Blessing, blessing out. And what I did, I reversed it and pitched it up. So as you can see here are the chops that I did. I pretty much reversed like all of them, pitched them up and down and whatever. And I came up with this final chop right here. So to that I added a couple of effects. I added an EQ as a band pass narrow, cutting some highs and some lows. Another EQ to cut this harsh frequency right here. A reverb intensity with the low fire room preset. Uh, turned down the mix by a little bit. And then a Valhalla room. Valhalla room with the mix turned down a little bit just to add a tiny bit of reverb. And uh, this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, honestly, this is kind of some sauce for you guys. If you have like some vocal chops that aren't really hitting like that, just try reverse them. Honestly, like sometimes you'll come out with something like super fire, you know? And like if I use these effects and didn't reverse the vocal chop, I don't know if it really would have came out the same way. So yeah, just try reverse it, chop it up. Just make it like sound weird and unique and uh, you'll come up with dope stuff. And then now the final element that I added to the sample, I'm really actually very proud of. So I went into Omnisphere, I went into Keyscape and I picked this wing upright uh, Keyscape preset. And this is what I pretty much came up with. I just uh, took the same chords and the counter melody from that lead sound. And uh, yeah, something like this. So yeah, it's the same two bar loop and pretty much what I ended up doing, I ended up recording it, but then I ended up reversing it. And then I ended up adding all these effects on it. So I used this Fab Filter EQ with a band pass narrow to make it very, very narrow. You have a lot of the lows and the highs cut out. An Echo Boy with this oil tempo room, just adding a bit more of like um, delay and reverb. A Valhalla Vintage Verb, cutting the mix to 7%, so it's really not that much. Uh, this EQ that I'm pretty sure, uh, oh, I used an automation clip on, I think. And then I have this shaper box right here where I have a width and panning automation. So it goes from like mono to stereo and uh, from like right to left, it kind of moves around. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, it's very subtle, but you'll hear when it's played in the background, it's a lot of sauce. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I just recorded it as its own sample. So yeah, the final sample without any effects sounds like this. You can hear the reverse piano right here. Yeah, it just adds a lot of texture in the background. And uh, pretty much the last, the final effects I added to the uh, master, master uh, was this EQ cutting some lows out, a good hertz wow control, adding a bit of saturation and a tiny bit of detune, a this waves um, quick child compressor, uh, and this Fab Filter EQ with these um, EQs right here. I think it was for the vocals. I added an automation, as you can see, so that it only uh, is there when the vocals are playing at the start of the sample. And then finally, 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 the sauce is this plugin called Back Mask. Um, it kind of just like reverses it, adds delay. It just sounds so crazy. And I turned the mix down to like 15%. So it's acting like very, very subtly. And this is what it sounds like with the effects.
So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the sample. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. The link for all the Estrella sounds will be in the description down below. Some really, really high quality sounds as you can see right there. Perfect to start making samples or beats. Run up my social media and let me know what you guys would want to see in the next videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.